Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. Today, I just want to take this moment to wish my one of the kind person who is always on my YouTube uh, cover. Yes, my YouTube cover. You can see that I'm with someone. Yes, and that's my special wife. Yes. So I just want to use this opportunity to wish her happy and very very happy birthday yes may allah bless her and grant her more blessings throughout her life yes and i also want you who are watching me to also say happy birthday to my wife yes but today i just want to take you through one of the kind very exciting tutorial on photoshop and this particular thing is not anything but 3d how do you do 3d in photoshop this one we have doing it in manual and doing it with photoshop what features so in this particular tutorial i'm going to show you how to create 3d text or 3d anything that is 3d how do you do that in photoshop and this particular tutorial we are just going to learn how to do 3d in photoshop and i'm using photoshop cs6 and that is what I'm going to use for that in this tutorial. So let us go over it. You can see I've, I have already launched my Photoshop CSS. And there is the Photoshop CSS. Is the features is the same features applied to the new versions and all that. Yes. And but the love thing I love about this is that Photoshop CSS is very good when I'm doing some kind of digital painting or having a, a want to create a 3d something it looks so beautiful for me and very faster however photoshop csd can easily crash so as you are working always try and save your work so first of all let's just create a, a background for that particular uh, 3d text so i'll go to file then i'll come to new in this particular design i'm going to use photoshop default size and then I'll call this one 3D, 3D text, okay? And then I'll leave it seven by five inches and the resolution, I want to make it 300 so that it will be very, very bigger and it will have some kind of um, rated around it, yes. So, and then after that, I'll have it just like this, you see, yes. And then the first thing I have to, the next thing I have to do again is to come and write in the text the kind of text I want to do for that, you get that, yes. And this particular is now, I don't, actually I don't know what I'm going to do, but let me just put um, long, okay, long, and this is long, yes, and then I can decide to make some changes to it by changing the color, fine, yes, and I also can decide to make it very bold too no problem about that and always try to make it bold so that what you are doing you can easily see that yes and then i'll have it just like this and the next thing i have to do again is that uh, photoshop cs6 has the features already you can see 3d over here it is there and you can use it and without any problem but for this particular tutorial what i need to do is that after after typing in the text that you want to do what you need to do is to come over here just this particular this particular layer called long and that's the text then the next thing you have to do is to right click then when you right click this all something this this thing that's appeared then you will come and pick new 3d extraction from selected layer you get that so you just have to click on this particular this thing and wait for the magic to happen you see that you can easily see that it has already done like that this is 3d you see that this is 3d but i don't want it to have it just like this i want to make some changes to it you get that yes and then what you normal can do for this particular distance is that you can come and click on this 3d this thing over there and you can find a 3d this thing over here and that's beautiful and then these are the features of those three these things over there this is the current view there is the text which is the long and when you close it up you see that that one too will be closed 
and when you on it up you see it over there and this is lighting and this lighting is making that uh, that is how giving it some shadow you see that some you can see some shadow down there that's the lighting you can see that when i'm even moving it you see that the down is need to move so that's the shadow yes that's the shadow of that particular 3d and you can turn it around how you want it to uh, to do you get that yes for this particular design i don't need to do that you get that so this is the features of that particular 3d this thing where you can find these things over there you get that yes and the next thing again that i need to do i knew i want to show you is that if you don't want this kind of 3d if you don't want it this like how it has appeared you can change it by going over this particular this thing over here then you click on that you get that yes and when you click on this particular this thing that's where you can find 3d mesh and 3d extra since that's that's the layer for that and you can come to shape presence and when you click on shape present you see a holder of presence there and you can easily use it you get that when you click on this one that's the normal thing you can get it and when you click on this one too you can get that one too and when you click on the next one too you can also get that one too and then you can check a whole lot of stuff on it you see this is another 3d and then you can check on for this one too that's also another 3d so this is just a process where you can find a whole lot of things on this particular this thing even when you click on this particular 3d this is how that one to look like so this one is just a process where you can find a good one for your design and that one wouldn't be a much problem and you can see it over there you get that yes so for this tutorial so let's just use this one so that my tutorial will not be long yes and then when you have something like this the next thing you have to check on is that when you go on top this one this is why it's transfer uh, a deform when you click on the deform you see this arrow that appears and now those arrows are very important and it can help you get a good 3d this thing however let me come and click on this particular thing and just drag it you see that my thing has been dragging this way you get that they have been dragging that way you get that yes and this too is very good you can also drag it on top so that you can have it just like this or you can drag it down so that you can also have it just like this you get that yes and that one too is very special when doing that okay however if you don't want it that way now the down one too is the same thing that when you are dragging it it brings it up for you and when you are dragging it out it goes down there you get that yes and these are all functions that you can use to make your 3d look so beautiful and very good and then you can also decide to come and click on this particular this thing and that one we call it cap and that cap too you can also make some changes to it by dragging it on top and you can have you see that the, 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 the this thing has been changing you see that it has been changing and you get that yes so this one makes it looks like you are adding embossment to it you get that just to make it look so something different okay you can have it like this it's so beautiful and the next one too this one dragging it this way you see that that one too will make it look something different and when you drag it back it will make it distant so this is you are beveling it you get that so there is the fastest of bubbling in Photoshop. Yes. And then you can also come and click on this coordinates. The coordinates too can also help you when dragging on top, you can make it this way. And you can drag it down just like this. That one to look so fine. And you can make it top like this so that the the shadow can be down there. You get that. And then this one too, you can also decide to move it this way or move it that way how you just want to place it is just going to look so beautiful and over here too you can also decide to rotate it around how you want it to rotate it you can also do that for this thing and then down here too this one makes it so to squeeze it you are squeezing it you get that if you want to make it this way it will look good if you don't want to make it if you want to make it squeeze up you can also make it this way and it will look so beautiful and then 
and that is how that particular destiny to works and over here too I also has a function called scale long scale long that you want to bring it up like you want to use why did I have like this or you want to bring it together just like this you get that yes and this one can also help you uh, adjust your 3d to to the extent that it looks very very beautiful without any problem you get that yes so there is other functions of this particular uh, mesh up uh, that mesh uh, what's it this one is the 3d mesh and 3d uh, extraction you get that yes and you can also come and click on this next thing where you can get a whole lot of functions to over there and buy you can change the 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 the, the, the this thing the surface of this thing you can change it to this particular surface and it will look so beautiful for you yes and then you can make some changes you can make it shine you can make it reflect you can make it a whole lot of things you can that you can use to it to make it form and this one is we call it light Put giving it light like the same light over there you this particular light you can decide to move it to go so that you see the 3d you see that your shadow is going going that is coming out and then you can make it go uh, as long as you want and it look is going to look so beautiful for your distance and then you can also have it just like this and it is going to look so beautiful and however clicking back over here is that you can also open it up when you open it up you can make some changes to it and it will look so beautiful just like that and then you can have it just like this and then over here too you can add some kind of features to it maybe hiding lighting and those kind of things you can add it and when i click on this one and then i choose either infinite lighting or spot lighting or point lighting those things will work for me so let's use new infinite lighting you see that a different lighting will appear you see that this is the infinite lighting that appears on this part of this thing it makes it look so distant that's like that and over there that one i can also decide to close it up when i close it up you see that that lighting too has gone and then when i on it up you see that that lighting too has come and then those lighting too you can also decide to adjust it on how you want it to appear on that particular surface and it will look so beautiful for you too you get that yes and then you can have it just like that or just like that and you can see that the magic is working around the text yes you can move it around to get the perfect distance for your distance you get that yes and you can have it just like this and it's just going to look so beautiful for you and without any problem yes and you can also decide to off it out because you don't need it but if you need it you can do it you can use it and yes and then all this has important that when you are clicking you can get different different features to work on and then it will look so beautiful so long expression material there is what it is selected and you can change the color over there without any problem yes and then you see text color so when you click on this color you can try and make any color to it you can adjust it to any color that you like and it will still look beautiful and without any problem in that particular thing yes and you know there is way of changing the color and it will look so beautiful for you without any problem and then you can have it just like that or make it blue no problem and you can, it will look so beautiful for you in that instance yes uh, and what we are doing if you want to see what we are doing all what you need to do is to come and click on this then when you click on it try and click on this background you see it standing just like this and then if you need to make some changes again you can still have it just like this and then you can make some of that changes to it you get that yes then after this when you finish with everything all what you need to do is to right click on this particular distance when you right click you can either convert it to smart object or you can just decide to rasterize the 3d you get that so when you convert it to smart object it means that you can still make changes to it at any time when you have problem yes and then uh, after making those things you decided that i want to change something all what you need to do is to double click on this particular this thing and then it will open up somewhere just like this then you do what you make those changes to it then you save it back then it will come back to here to 
the same thing. Yes. So that is what I just want to show you today. Thank you very much for watching. This is ABM Graphics and have a nice day. Bye bye.